What's up players? Welcome to Sims Tennis. It's been a while, but I've got another video for you guys. In this video, I'm going to be covering the top five most used rackets during the 2022 and 2023 college tennis season. My position as a coach at the Division II level allowed me the unique opportunity to get some real data on this. I used a spreadsheet to track that data, and today I'll be sharing my findings with you. That data comes from the teams that we played at the Division I, II, and III levels as well as a few NAIA schools, and it also includes data from many of the top D1 programs as I was able to watch some of their matches this year as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so to start us off, I thought it'd be fun to take a quick look at the Division I Individual National Championship bracket to see which rackets made it to the Final Four, and you'll see that a lot of the rackets on our top five list are represented here as well. On the left side of the bracket in the first national semifinal, we had Andreas Styler of Michigan in the top half of the draw, using his E-Zone to defeat Murphy Cassone of Arizona State, who wields the Extreme Tour. The Extreme Tour didn't quite make the top five rackets, but I'm going to give it an honorable mention as the sixth racket on our list today. Looking at the right-hand side of the bracket, we have Ethan Quinn of Georgia on the bottom half, using his Pure Arrow 98 to defeat Chris Rodesh of Virginia, who uses the blade. That made it E-Zone versus Arrow 98 in the final, and Ethan Quinn of Georgia came out victorious with his Arrow 98 in that matchup. Keep an eye out for him as the 19-year-old American makes his US Open debut later this month. All right, so now time for our top five list. As a quick disclaimer, this list will cover the line of racket that players are using, but not which specific racket within that line. Coming in at number five, we have somewhat of a surprise in the Head Radical. This is a great all-around racket that has gained back some of its luster with the last couple releases and is getting the attention of some of these high-level players. Moving on to number four, it's going to be the Yonex V-Core. Yonex has gained a lot of popularity over the last five years, and I would describe the V-Core as a spin-oriented racket that is well-balanced and can also be used as a weapon when flattening out the ball. At number three, it's gonna be another Yonex racket as the E-Zone takes this spot. The E-Zone 98 is my current racket of choice and I would describe it as a very well-balanced racket that's a little bit more crisp and control-oriented than the V-Core. At number two, we have one of the pillars of college and professional tennis in the Wilson Blade. I don't have any footage of me hitting with the blade, but this is the epitome of an all-around racket that is just gonna give you what you put in. I would also describe the Blade as one of the more control-oriented rackets on this list, and while it's a pretty accessible racket, I would also say it's one of the more demanding rackets on the list as well. Okay, so coming in at number one, it's probably no surprise that we have the Pure Arrow. This is the most spin-oriented racket on the list, and also one of the most powerful. This racket lends itself perfectly to aggressive players looking to dictate with power and spin. Alright, so that's it for the top five list. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing so that you don't miss any future content. And don't forget to embrace the grind.